I have been feeling kind of stagnant lately. I feel like I am in that V3, V4 plateau that some people find themselves in and I don't know how to get myself out. I think I just haven't seen a lot of significant growth and that is what kind of bummed me out in the beginning of this week but I think as I look back on the sessions I feel like I have improved and I think my technique is getting better and I'm committing to more stuff but it doesn't feel like it when you're in the moment and the change is quite slow. Naturally my mind is going to overdrive where I'm trying to just find ways where I can push myself to be better. So things like training plans, adding like flexibility workouts, core workouts, hangboarding, extra training sessions. I don't know, it becomes quite overwhelming when I go down that rabbit hole but has anyone else been in my shoes? Do you have any wisdom or advice? Is the answer simply just climbing more? I don't know. I am going to take some time to figure that out. So this week I'm at 9 degrees Waterloo. Their climbing style is very powerful, heavy on the technique and sometimes a little bit tall for me as a shorter climber but it was nice and challenging to just try a couple of new sets and definitely surprised myself on a couple of projects that I initially started on earlier in the week. Starting off with the V1s in the gym, this teal climb looked pretty cool. All the holds are solid. You've got a big undercling and a big move up to those two holds underneath the end. It's a short climb, but taught me how to try and generate momentum upwards, which is something I need to practice. This teal v1 was on the side of the roof section so you start off kind of underneath and then you're climbing up the side of the wall the worst part of this climb is probably where all the features are those holds on those gray features are awful they've got these flat edges so it's a desperate attempt to try and stay on and get past This V2 was part of a new comp set that week and it has a balancey start followed by a committing move on this angled wall. I think it was a good mixture of balance, movement and trying to haul yourself up this overhanging wall to get to the end. So I got really attached to this pink v4 climb. I haven't done many pink v4s in the gym 
but I really liked the look of these semicircle holes. They've got these really sharp edges and it's all set on this overhanging wall. So it's a sustained pump fest of a climb. It taught me a lot about grip strength and also taught me how to keep a lot of body tension and how to keep going when I'm about to pump out. My forearms were on fire every time I gave this a go and I really wasn't sure if I was going to get to the end. Moving over to the slab wall, this pink V4 climb had a really interesting start with no footholds in sight. You gotta trust the wall and you gotta trust these jug holds. These jug holds are really nice except for when they are flipped. I liked how simple the route looked and how a lot of the holes doubled for both feet and hands. So just trying to figure out what the route setter intended for this climb and it was definitely harder than it looked. This V3 climb felt really hard. I would say that it was on par with some of the V4 climbs I worked on this week, which may have been due to height, but I think I underestimated how much it would take to break through the second half of this climb. You can see that the wall angles a bit halfway through the climb, which makes it harder to fight to the top and hold with momentum. And this taught me how to be a little bit more dynamic, a little bit committing in my moves, especially as someone who's on the shorter side.
This V4 climb was the last one for the day. This boulder route is a traverse that wraps around an arete and has small crimps and a lot of movement between both right and left sides. Initially, I was stuck on the first couple of moves. It's a little bit technical at the start and I wanted to give this one three goes before I kind of gave up. So on the third try, I decided to set up my camera and managed to figure it out. 